What is up you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. And today we're winding it back to 2015 to take a look at this Star Wars Rebels set, which of course was Ezra's speeder bike, which is an interesting name for the set, considering we also get a Stormtrooper speeder bike, but I digress. This set had 253 pieces, three minifigures, and retailed for $19.99 back in the day, but now goes for about 30 bucks as you see it. So with that being said, let's take a look at these minifigs. Up first, we have the namesake of this set, and that is Ezra. It's a really great figure, and of course, it's awesome to add such an iconic character to the Star Wars Rebels show. I mean, he was a main character, but uh, to get him in such a cheap set, of course, it's a little more expensive now than when it came out, but we do get some nice printing on the back there. We can flip the hair around so you can see that he has a confused face. This is actually the same head they used for Scott Lang back in 2015 as well. He comes with a little wrench and then a binoculars uh, piece and his lightsaber blade for his unique lightsaber build. So it's a pretty cool figure all around. Then of course we have Sabine, a really awesome figure. It's too bad she didn't come with her helmet, but otherwise it is a very cool figure. You could turn that hair around to see she's got a fighting face on that side. She does come with two awesome pistols, which are pretty rare pieces by LEGO standards these days. And that is our look at Sabine. And last but not least, we have a Rebels-style Stormtrooper. Now, I know a lot of people dig these because they're Rebels fans, but to me, they just kind of look... I don't know, they kind of look dopey to me, I guess. I just don't think they fit in very well with your other Stormtroopers, but if we lift up that helmet, you'll see they have that kind of classic angry clone trooper face. So the face is pretty accurate to everything else, but I don't know, the helmet just doesn't do it for me. Now to me, the builds from this set are a little perplexing. Full disclosure, I don't actually watch Star Wars Rebels, so I'm not really sure what the context of the set is, but the builds are exactly the same, except of course for the colors and stickers that go on them, so it just feels very weird to me to build two of the exact same thing. You know, no variation, but again, I don't know the context within the show, so maybe it makes sense. Both of them are very solid builds. Ezra's build has more stickers than the Stormtrooper one, of course. There's a little clip on the back where you could put one of their accessories, and of course there's like Rebels logos all over it, and it is very cool. Um, but, you know, I just, it's really boring to build the same thing twice. We do get stud shooters on the side, so I guess that's cool if you're into stud shooters, but all in all, there's really not much to say about this set because it's so redundant. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this review, and if you did, be sure to hit like and subscribe down below. And also, if you want to check out my eBay store, I'm actually going to sell this set exactly as you see it. So if you want to own something that I've reviewed here on my channel, check out that link. Hopefully it hasn't sold by the time you get there. But with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next video. If you liked what you saw and you liked what you heard, feel free to click that subscribe button for more LEGO videos coming in the near future.